right. How was the off season for you? It's it's been good. It's been a recovery, obviously, from the shoulder surgery, but uh, everything's come around full circle, and I'm ready for the for the season. Blighty was a cornerback with the Tennessee Titans. It was his second year last fall when he sustained an anterior dislocation of his shoulder while tackling an opponent. On, on the one play, I just kind of fell, and that's what happened, but there was definitely times during the season, you, when you take a lot of hits, you make a lot of, at cornerback, a lot of tackles. We're not the biggest guys on the field, so that kind of adds to it, but that's my job, so. And bring your fists in like this. I'm gonna try and rotate your forearms. You keep them forward like that. And it's important to note that he had a history of shoulder dislocations in the past, and had it fixed arthroscopically in 2011, that surgery did very well for him. I know a lot of the injury probably came from compensation. Other things in my body probably pulling or pushing or trying to do too much. My shoulder ended up being the thing that had to, had to give for, for me to, be, to get through. In the shoulder, it's really much more like a hammock that supports the ball and the socket. Most athletes, when they dislocate their shoulder, rip the attachment side of the hammock or the glenohumeral ligaments from the socket, and that's where the labrum is. Less commonly, they will evulse it from the humerus, and, and that's in fact what Bleedy had sustained. But there was an associated anterior labral tear as well. The important thing here is while he had a detachment of the labrum, his bigger problem was that he had detached the capsule from the humerus. So I reattached that arthroscopically with anchors. He had a combined arthroscopic and open stabilization because of the, the complex nature of his pathology. Even after, it feels better than before my before the surgery, after, Feel, yeah. Feels better now shorter, than before the surgery. Before, yeah, but now everything feels tight and I feel confident in it. I tore my ACL last October. Just try to stay on top of your rehab. It's it's going to be okay, but so you're always going to have to do a little bit more with your knee and just understand that that's like, you got to protect this thing. It's absolutely changed my mindset. I, I know that for myself, to play in the NFL, you can't, you can't be hurt. And I understand that now that my body's my number one priority and this shoulder can't be something that is a recurring thing. So I have to stay on top of it. Well, he's number one, a phenomenal athlete. He's very motivated, very compliant, and he was all in in terms of the rehabilitation. So he spent a lot of time really rehabilitating. Really looks excellent. All the rehab really paid off. Why don't you sit up? Are you back now? Um, I just got cleared today, so this oh, is good news for me. I didn't know if I could put into words. I was, uh, we had 15 practices and mini camps and stuff, and I wasn't able to do anything. I watched my teammates make plays and just build that commodity that you need and just to, to see the team develop, and I wasn't really able to be a part of that. It's just good to be back with my brothers and just be ready to just have a, a good season. Good luck this season. Thank you. Okay.